Thank you. The month of May has a lot going on for everyone, especially parents. Some even refer to it as may Simber because it's just so busy or even busier than December. Yeah, the chaos could lead to an emotional reaction. Here's today's Kidding with Kayla. Hi, Kayla Sullivan reporting live from my car where I just had what's known as a May mental meltdown. That's due to the fact this month is particularly stressful as it is chock full of graduations, dance recitals, concerts, field trips, fundraisers, playoff games, end of the year parties and teacher gifts. Authorities are working to determine the name of that sweet front desk lady at my child's school. This just in it's Sheila or is it Sherry? This is a pending investigation at this time. Now, I can tell you she is getting a plant with the pun, thanks for helping my child grow. <laughs> I love it. In other news, sources say your hand will likely cramp up from writing so many thank you letters because you're not used to using pen and paper. Packed school lunches are looking more pathetic these days as you are too busy to go to the store. And also, who cares? It's the end of the year. Our thoughts and prayers are for the school front desk lady to not have any social media. If so, I am so sorry, Sheila. Cherry, I'm the worst. Back to you. <laughs> Did you ever find out which one it was? You know what? Mm. I also hope she's not watching this segment That's right the now. Part. <laughs> <laughs> Got to such a careful. sweet lady. Such a sweet lady. Here's the deal, okay? It is an insane month, especially for people who live in Indianapolis, because then we've got all these events going on. It is popping in Indianapolis. But a lot of content creators right now are talking about this very issue, how busy May is and whether it's actually busier than December. What's it like for you guys? So for me specifically, my kids are now out of school. Mm. And so it's like H-E double hockey sticks. <laughs> I mean, like it is nonstop all the time. Softball's go, still go, going. Go, go, and go, go. like, I love my children, but you're with them all yes. nonstop. When I get, get yeah, we no. will do segments on the summer boredom that yes. is to come. Because even if you have things planned for them in the summer, it's like their go to saying is, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. And it is not fun. But the thing is, you know, the thank you notes, you want to make sure that you've got all these, you end the year strong, right? Mm -hmm. But those lunches, you start out with like, you know, your idealistic perfect sides, veggies, this, that, that, mm -hmm. and then you end up doing the, the heel of the bread and like peanut butter and like, <laughs> yeah. you're, you're like, I mean, whatever, this is You fine. are super mom because I grew up on Lunchables. My mama was like, look, I'm working. Yeah. I think that's why as adults, we all like charcuterie boards now. You know, it's the same <laughs> yeah. difference. May is tough. My birthday is in May. There's so many things to do in May. I don't even like to grocery shop for myself. I call the people to drop my groceries off for my own <laughs> mental health, okay? So trying to shop for a child that I don't have yet, I don't even shop for my dog child. Yeah, no. It just comes, comes to the house. Now my husband, that's his ministry. He loves the grocery store. Okay. That's not me. May stresses me out. You mentioned like lunches. We've hit that point already and we're only a few days into school being out where it just says, go find something. Right. <laughs> go to the fridge. There's something in there. There's find some it. spaghetti in there. Yeah. I think when Alan's a little bit older, I'm going to be like, let's buy your lunch. Let's not, <laughs> I, let's not put that on me anymore because I'm pretty sure my parents were like, we're buying lunch the moment we can buy lunch. Yes. That's right. yeah. Why? Because we need to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like it builds character. Like I remember my school lunch, buying my school Listen, lunch. My Bosco those sticks? mashed potato Word. Bosco oh, sticks. Oh, man. <laughs> Do you hear me? I'm just saying. Getting hungry now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they need those childhood memories. Yes. We're absolutely. doing them a favor by not packing their lunches. Of course. Of course. <laughs> but yes, this has been a hot topic. So chime in on Facebook. You can follow me, Kayla Sullivan. Or for more Kidding with Kayla, you can click the Kidding with Kayla tab on wishtv.com.